hi what is up youtube welcome to this video today i'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory of the alienware 17 r4 so i got the ssd right here as you can see this is a 256 gigs uh nvme solid state drive and here is how you go ahead and uh, use it to upgrade your alienware laptop make sure the computer is turned off and uh, disconnect your power adapter and then go ahead and open it from the back most alienware computers are upgraded the same way but you want to make sure you check uh, the version you have it might be slightly different so this is again this is the alienware 17 revision 4 all right so yeah here is the back panel and you have seven screws on the back so you have three on the side three on the other side and this screw right here you don't take it out you just unscrew it but it stays in the socket If it's your first time, you're going to notice that it is a little bit hard to take the cover off. You can also use a credit card or something flat to, to get it through. So go ahead and Alright, so the back panel is off. Okay, so here you have access to the inside of the computer. So here I have a hard drive, my two RAM sticks, and here are the SSD slots. So this one is already in use. So I have one socket here and a smaller size SSD slot right here. So I have this regular size, so I'm going to use it on this socket. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop this open. Alright, so let's go ahead and insert it. Alright, so before you insert the memory card, you want to go ahead and take this screw off. It is a tiny screw, you don't want to lose it. Alright, so the screw is out, so you want to go ahead and insert your SSD. Make sure to match the connectors. As you can see the gap, the gap has to match on the other side. Go ahead and at about this angle, it is just gonna snap in. And you are all set. Now you can go ahead and put back the back cover and put the computer up. Alright, so once the computer boots up, open File Explorer and you will see that you cannot see the disk that you just inserted. These are my drives that I had before I inserted the new drive. So you want to go ahead and open Disk Manager, Windows X, this menu appears, you're going to go ahead and select disk manager and here it is. 
so you get this pop-up right here you must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it okay and it's going to install it all right now you can see that it's an allocated drive you want to go ahead and right click on it and select new simple volume hit next leave this as default next it is a e drive default and you can go ahead and select and create a name for it all right all right you can put anything as name actually and finish now it is inserted and now it appears here as you can see so yeah make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy it make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you for watching see you around